error label in batch script if somebody ask you are you aware of error label in batch script what is that and how does that work what is percentage error level percentage so if you have all these questions i am going to teach from basics so that you have a good understanding what is error label so let's move on to our screen and let's get started all right i am going to start from basics so for this first of all open command prompt okay now in the command prompt simply type this command echo and i want to print my name rakesh and i'm going to hit on enter so what happened the command got executed successfully and it has printed the output correct it has printed the output so that means the command got executed successfully now every execution that happens in the command prompt if it is successful there's a code given to it if there's a code is zero that means it's successful so how do i know whether it's successful or not just by executing you get to know but again in the error code level how do you understand all you have to do simply write percentage and then type error label percentage hit on enter so just read this what is the value zero what is the meaning of zero zero means the previous command that you have executed in the command prompt got executed successfully zero means it got executed successfully okay now let's do one thing i am going to make some mistake here let's say this command i am going to write some uh, let's say i am making a mistake echo so i am writing okay now if i am going to hit on enter if i am going to hit on enter what is happening echo is not recognized as an internal so it gave an error so did the command echo got executed it could not execute it failed the execution failed because this is not a proper command now how do you find the error code all you do simply write this error label percentage and it on enter so what happens if you see previously we got zero that was successful now we have got something called 9009 that means there is something wrong so remember one point just one point zero means the code got executed successfully anything other than zero means the code failed or the command failed okay simple you don't have to remember this codes just remember zero means it successful anything else apart from zero is unsuccessful and every code will show some kind of a error like this okay what is the meaning of 909 means it's not the command that you have typed is not recognized as an internal or external command okay let me show you one more example okay let me clear the screen Uh, for example, I am saying change directory. Okay, cd, and let's say I want to go to a specific directory. Okay, for example, this one. Hmm? So if I copy and hit on, you know, just enter this here. So it it went here. If I, the moment I hit on enter, this will go to that directory. Now if I want to see the error label, all I will do percentage error label. percentage if i write hit on enter it will say zero that means the previous command got executed properly now let me make some mistake okay now in this instead of bash script i am going to say one i am going to make it some you know something else i will type so if i hit on enter this script cannot enter the system cannot find the path specified it gave another error because the file path is not there you know so if i want to see what is the error code of this Label percentage hit on enter. It is saying one. So first time we saw zero. Now we are seeing one. And prior to that we have seen nine zero zero nine. Okay. One means what is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program uh, or batch file. So it could not find that specific particular path. So it gave the error one. So every time it will generate a message also for you. So you read that. What is the meaning of that code? I don't have to remember it. okay so what we have understood till now zero means successful anything other than zero means it's a fail with some error code or error message okay the number you can call it as a code number and there is a message to it okay now let's see by going to bash script what is the practical use of it what is the practical use of this error code why i have to even use it so let me show you let's write a very simple code okay echo of and here i am saying enter uh I, i will ask the user to enter something okay i'll prompt the user by writing p prompt and then let me write a variable um uh, let's say file path or the folder path folder path 
equals to I am going to say enter folder path okay and I put a colon here so the user will enter the folder path and then I am going to uh, check that whether that folder path is correct or not okay so how do I check I will simply say CD and I will go to this folder path whatever he has given okay so I'll say CD and then I'll say folder path percentage okay so it will go to that if it is correct then only it can go otherwise it cannot go right so if I use an error level now it will check if the previous command got executed so there are two things can happen the user could have given a proper folder path or he could have given a wrong one if it is a wrong one error level will be anything other than zero if it is a proper one it will be zero the error code will be zero right so what I will do I'll use a if command if and I'm going to say percentage error label percentage okay equals to equals to zero if it is zero then I would like to echo okay so you can write in multi lines also so all I will do I'll simply put a parenthesis open parenthesis and I will say echo uh, the folder path provided was valid or uh, is valid okay so I'm providing this message okay and I'm closing it else if it, if it is not zero then what I would like to do okay again I will use the similar one I'll start the parenthesis or right, in the sim single line also you can write we don't need right else echo uh, the folder the folder path is invalid getting it so let's see that let's experiment this and I'm going to pause to see the output okay now let's run it and let me provide a path so this is a proper path okay this is a proper path I'm going to hit on enter so what is saying the folder path provided is valid okay so it is working properly now let me provide a wrong path this time okay let me make some modification to that so I'll go to the folder path copy this enter and I'm going to make some more I'm going to write a one so that one is not there so if I hit on enter it is saying the system cannot find the path specified the folder path is invalid so getting it so this is one of the simple example of error label and the practical use you know this is a sample example of how practically we can determine the error label now the next next question that comes to our mind Rakesh is it possible to um, you know write this error code to a text file or some uh, some log files or something like that yes we can do that okay so let me erase this uh, for example we'll take a simple example again echo I'm going to print Rakesh okay so it is line number two and I'm going to say echo percentage echo percentage error label percentage okay echo percentage error level percentage ensure your spelling is correct okay uh, many times I type it wrong and it doesn't execute so error level percentage um, now what I should do I would like to write it to a um, uh, text file okay so I will say log let's say the file name is log okay log it will create if it is not there it will automatically create so log.txt and here I will put uh, error code error code for line 2 okay so that we know for which line it is coming okay then the same thing let's repeat you can put your own customized message so that you understand what is this for okay uh, you can write a proper sentence uh, the Rakesh uh, the echo command did not execute or you know whatever you like you can change this message as per your need so I'm just giving as an example okay so here I'm writing, writing a wrong code and here I'm saying for the line number four okay so I'll say line number four getting it so what would happen let's see if I'm going to run this particular bash script it got executed and now you can see log file got created if I open this file it is saying error code for line number four is 9009 so that means it did not get executed the line number four have some problem we can go and rectify that and look at certain things now why it failed or what went wrong we can do some uh, monitoring so I hope you have got enough examples of error label and I hope you have got 
a good understanding of how to use it or you got an idea of what is it and how to use it thank you guys that is the motive of this content let's move on to our next topic so very good job in completing this one thank you